What is up guys, man, I'm Jay Dub, and today we are back out here on the trap line again for another video in our Back to Basics series. And I'm gonna show y'all how I do a curiosity set. It's a real simple set, like this. I find these old deer sheds that have been chewed on. I don't know how we all can see that. It's been chewed on there. This one's broken off. That one's been chewed on. So the antler's no good for anything. But I just run a, a stake through it so that nothing can just come up and steal it. And we throw it on the ground. I'm gonna show y'all how I stake it in, put a, put a bait in front of it. We're gonna put some bait and lure around it just to give a little bit of extra feeling, make them come in from a little bit further away. So we're gonna pick our trap out, figure out which trap we wanna use, try to go as big as I can for my coyotes. And this set will pull them in from a little further away because it'll be a, a white, bright and shiny bone. I don't have to actually put it right on the road. So I'm gonna let y'all guys see how I do it. All right, guys. Let's see what we got in here. We've got a tangled up mess of cables and snares. What we got here? All right, I can I can work with this. Let's check. Pan tension's pretty good, not the best, but that'll be our trap of choice. I'm gonna go ahead and get my gloves. Get everything that we need to do it. We'll go ahead and put this set in real quick. All right, guys, so we got our set here. We're back off the road just a little bit. We do get coyotes that run back and forth through here. I'll show y'all when we get it all done about how everything's gonna look. But I like to stake this in the ground first because I can move the trap easier than I can move this. All right, so we've hit a rock. This set does, or this doesn't have to be in the ground real far. It's just enough to keep them from grabbing it and walking off with it. So, go ahead. I won't even set the anchor on it. I'll just kinda get it. The big thing I want is I want this cable mostly behind it and deer horns work really good for this because you can stake them in the, or you can stick the horns in the ground. And then you can put your trap out here in front of it. And you kind of naturally got this, this corralling effect. Might not be able to put this set in right here. All these rock. Oh yeah, we're getting through them. Get all these big chunks of rock out of your way. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just see if we can even get a stake in the ground here. <sighs> so this stake will only be about this far in the ground. So we'll see if we can get it in there and see if it'll hold. If not, we'll have to put it somewhere else. Or I might bring a drag up here. Nothing's popping that one out. It's no time soon. That's in. Let's go ahead and get us a pan cover. Start working on getting this trap bedded in. All right, so we got our 
got the beginnings of our trap. Let's go ahead and get it, start bedding it in. I will say this area is kind of hard to find dirt. So we'll do the best we can. Let's go see if we can get some dirt. All right, so we found us a spot of dirt. It's kind of muddy, but it'll work. It'll work for what we need. We're just doing some light covers. A lot of people like dry dirt. I do too in the winter. In the spring, not as important. And then I like to kind of just feather it all together. Get some more of your dirt. And cover up your pretty good size area. All right. Now, your bone. Go ahead and try to cover it up some. Don't let them see it all, because then it just, it just looks out of place. If that trap's good, it's done. I'm gonna go ahead, put some lure on it, and that'll be it. And honestly, we're gonna use this more of the Dunlap's uh, Reaper Coyote Gland Lure. So we're trying to keep everything else out of here. We're just gonna pour a little bit on here, and then get a little bit to try to go underneath it. If you put it on top like it, it'll eventually roll up underneath there. And this set's good, it's done. Hopefully we'll have a coyote here in a couple days. All right guys, so here's our set, final, it's our finished final set. Our pan's right here, our bone is our uh, attractant. And I mean, that's it. All right guys, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And uh, if you like this Back to Basics series, go ahead, leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Tell me, tell me guys, what do you want to see next? And I'll make that video for you. And like always, I'll catch y'all guys out on the line.